Hello everyone, welcome to part two of Productivity Demo, Microsoft OneNote Basics and Beyond. This is a six part demo, so please come back and check out our other videos on this topic, or find other events and videos at Microsoft.com WAC IT Showcase. And now, on to part two. So now that we've created our OneNote notebook, let's talk about how we can organize our notebook. So we've created one brand new from scratch, we saw how when we create a brand new notebook, it comes in with one new section up on the top and then a page off to the right. Well, what we want to do is we want to add additional sections. How we organize our notebook is how we want to organize our life. So th think of it this way. In this case, maybe this is a personal family notebook. Well, we what we want to do is we want to rename these sections. What we can do is double click on each one of these section titles. So in this case, new section one, I can rename this to shopping list. That's one, I, that's one section within our family notebook. I can create additional sections just by clicking on this plus icon. If I click on the plus icon, you'll see it will add in a brand new section. I can add in, maybe this is going to be vacation ideas. We can also add in another section. Let's say landscaping. So we have multiple options for us here to add in some additional sections and organize our life by those sections. Within there, also, you can add in pages. So you see how we have our shopping list here? Well, we can add in additional pages just by clicking on Add Page. Now, this is a pretty simple way of organizing, but let's say we start adding more and more uh, sections within our notebook. Not only do we have vacation ideas, maybe it's vacation ideas for certain locations. We start adding in additional items such as, let's say we're going up to Canada and uh, then we've got Mexico travel ideas and then we've got some Europe travel ideas. So you can start to see as we add more and more sections, it's taking up more and more space. And it's kind of hard to be a little bit more organized. How we can be more organized with our sections is we can create section groups and organize like sections together. So in this case, I can see that vacation ideas, Canada, Mexico, and Europe, those are all in that vacation realm. So what I can do is I can right click off to the right of that plus symbol and create a new section group. If I create a brand new section group, I can title this one, you know, vacation, or I can title it family vacation. So now I have a section group titled family vacation and I can include all of those destinations and those original vacation ideas. How do I move these items into that section group? Well, now that I can see the section group is available over here on the right-hand side, I can click and drag each one of these items into that section group. So now Vacation Ideas is now within Family Vacation. Same thing with Canada. I want to pull that over to Family Vacation. And the same thing with Mexico. I want to also show you that you can do the same thing over here on the left-hand side. So we see Europe is another vacation idea that needs to go into that vacation section group. I can click on Europe, drag it down to family vacation, wherever I want it to appear. So now you can see our family notebook is getting a lot more organized. So not only do we have our shopping list and our landscaping up at the very top, but we also have family vacation ideas off to the far right, and we're a lot more organized. Now within each one of these, think of a notebook in this way. We have our notebook, we have section groups, Within each section group, we have sections, and then on each section, we have pages. Well, think of it, you know, just like a folder, file folder. We've got folders within folders within folders. You can also organize pages in the same way that we organize sections. So in this case, let's say shopping list is for a birthday party. So we're going to type in birthday party shopping list. So we're going to create a brand new shopping list for our birthday party. What is included with that birthday party shopping list? Well, the first thing we've got are cake ideas, right? So we've got some cake ideas, and after that we need some food ideas as well, and maybe some activities. So each one of these pages is in still in reference to that birthday party shopping list, right? These are things that we have to do in addition to that, that original birthday party shopping list, but they're all associated to that birthday party. So how can we make this seem more, um, more in line with each other? Well, we can make each of these pages a subpage. 
so that each of these page each each of these pages is in reference to that original birthday party. So with Cake Idea, if I right click on that page, I can then make it a sub page, and you'll see it will appear right below that birthday party in a sub page. Same thing with Food Ideas. I want this to be made a sub page and activities. Now again, we're becoming a lot more organized because now our birthday party shopping list can be expanded and uh, reduced. So now we've got our birthday party shopping list right up there at the top. We can expand it and see, okay, it looks like we need to do cake ideas, food ideas, and activities. We're at the end of part two. We hope you enjoyed it. Check out part three where Brian walks us through how to search and tag action items. IT Showcase has events scheduled every month where you can get your questions answered live. We hope you'll join us again and bring your colleagues. You can find our schedule of upcoming events as well as on-demand videos and other content at microsoft.com WAC IT Showcase. Thanks again.